but I don't know, to get everybody their roles, that's kind of what we needed to do. They banned or Kotatsu banned Scion. I feel like it's so quiet. Sorry, I'm typing. Okay. Scion Ben. Okay. Uh, so far these bands are not um, impressing me. I see the Caitlyn ban and it makes me wonder where the hell Ranko is. Yeah, Ranko's not even playing in this game. Well, he's not even here right now. Wasn't he though? Didn't he say he wanted to play? Yeah, I think. Oh, so while bans are happening, can we talk about how I went to school today and we had a test and I had no fucking idea? <laughs> Just, oh, hey, test! Dude, yeah, yeah, deal with it. Well, that's, that's always fun. It was like a 60 question multiple choice true or false qu uh, test and I was like, fuck. These bands. Apparently, uh, Gotatsu actually wanted to play Scion tonight. Oh, also, I've recently discovered Pantheon players are cancer. They're just wait. So he wanted to play it, but his own team banned it. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's troll. Someone was like, "Oh yeah, Gotatsu plays a lot of Scion," and then just instant ban. Didn't even realize he's on their team. Yeah, apparently. But like I've been trying to play a lot of Nar in ranked, and just like people keep picking Pantheon into it, and it's so cancer to deal oh. with. I've been doing with Sundown, and I've just been playing LeBlanc. So normal as then. per usual. <laughs> yeah, no change then. Cause I was watching the first night of ADL, and everyone's like, "Oh, you did so good, blah blah,", blah. and I guess I did because I didn't die and got 12 kills. But I missed like every chain, so I'm like, "Wow, I need to work on this." Eh, I mean, yeah, Viva Two Chains is not what we call you. Chains are hard to land, man. Fucking Kotatsu's yelling at me that they can see some air spells. Alright, so the crow took away Lee Sin. I don't believe Crow's gonna be playing that, but who knows. Rufus is gonna be playing the Lucian for sure, cause um, he's been practicing that a lot. I'd be surprised if Jekyll doesn't pick a Braum. If you can get Braum. I mean, some people pick Braum away in situations like this. But kill shift Lux. Oh, there's the Braum. <laughs> that Morgana mid though. Ebola. I mean, we could also be seeing the uh, very intimidating Morgana jungle. I thought you were going to say um, Rengar jungle, and I was like, dude, I saw a freaking quasi jungled Rengar and died to the, <laughs> the red buff. Yes, I've seen a lot of that recently, actually. Like, Rengar players always die at the second buff, and I don't know why. But it's not even, like, the second like the second buff they take. Like, I had a Rengar that just straight up died to red buff, like, 15 minutes into the game. <laughs> like, I'm taking his golems, and I'm watching him try and, like, kite the red buff, but he has, like, 10 health. And it's like, dude, what are you doing right now? 
Now, Artek and Jekyll. I mean, is that going to be Pantheon versus Riven? Yes, it is. Unless that's a Panth jungle. I mean, I'm not sure how I feel about Riven. Um, I she's know. so hit or miss. So it's definitely a panther jungle if that gets locked in. There's so many options they could go with. They could go. I've seen Heimerdinger jungle. I've seen Prom jungle. Like plays could be made. But will they? Is the question. I mean, it is Kotatsu. He's troll as fuck. The bot lane's definitely gonna be interesting. Lucian, Zyra versus Va or Vayne, Brown. Hmm. I would have to give that over to the Brom Vayne lane, actually. Uh, yeah, I, I think if they can they survive. Can kill, as a, as a, Zyra's my favorite champion, right? Well, prior favorite champion. But in the support role, she's like worse than Sona as far as health goes. So that Braum passive with true um, the Vein W, she's just gonna die over and over and over. Yeah, Zyra dies a lot. It's kind of like the mainstay of her champion right now. And I mean, it's cool because you're passive, but I mean... But, you know, you're also dying. <laughs> and then there's the Ari, as we all expected. And it's the Jungle Malzahar a la Snoopy. I mean, they could also switch. They have 40 seconds. But yeah, it is weird seeing Crow on Jungle Lee Sin, especially. I've never seen him even play Lee Sin, let alone it's Jungle. It's like all our Diamond players come to Adopt a Noob and play Jungle Lee Sin. With very bad results. I mean, <laughs> JC, he's on the highlight reel. We have Kotatsu and his spectacular uh, Shen. I'm pretty sure you can make like a good five minute video on Shen Tons and Scion ults. Yeah, if I had the time to like scrub through all that Scion footage I have, there's so much of it. A potato flew around the room. <laughs> Is that from something? You've been saying that for like three days now. I have, I barely found out about this yesterday. Alright, well, you were about it yesterday. Do you want to see the video? I mean, you can send it to me. I'll look at it eventually. Yeah, this game right now is going to be super heavy onto Davy and Jekyll. I can't, I can't play this game. Fucking Super Smash Brothers 2 hard. Dude, I pre-ordered my Pokemon game today. I'm so excited. I read somewhere it got, or I don't know if it was troll or not, but somebody said it got delayed till like next year. No, it's coming out on the twenty-first. See, I just want to get Wii U and then Smash and then play it a lot. Have you seen that new mobile coming out called um, Gigantic? No, I have seen Nightmare Tide for Rift. That looks cool. Okay, you need to look up Gigantic. It looks kind of really fucking cool. See, everybody says that about every new MMO. I said MOBA. Ah. Uh, like I've said reasonably well about MOBAs too. 
played Dongate was supposed to be amazing. I don't know. I played a game of Dongate and I was like, wow, this is crap. <laughs> yeah, I played it at PAX and I was like, well, um, I don't actually know what I'm doing. And I actually know how to play MOBAs. This is hard. And then Infinite Crisis actually has potential. Mostly because it's just like DC characters, but still. And I've heard Heroes of the Storm is good, but I've never actually played it. I've heard Heroes of the Storm is like the worst thing ever fucking made. No, that's Han. No, Heroes of the Storm. I've heard it's like the worst thing Blizzard has ever done. Counting down these last couple seconds, who has the skin more? Oh uh, wait, predictions. Um, Popstar Ari, for sure. It's gonna be um, that what's that Lucian skin called? The one where Striker? he's white. Or hired no. gun. Hired gun. That's the one. You know the one where he's white. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with Dragon Slayer Vane probably. Heartseeker Vane. You know Heartseeker Vein makes you worse at Vein? Yeah, I know. I still, five, I still use it. Five clicks, clicky thingies. Five range, yeah. That, that five range. I still use it though. I own it. I don't play Vein though. I wanna, I wish I was good at Vein. Okay, oh, Davey's gonna go ahead and make me a liar. <laughs> and then, more tightly sinned, redeemed Rivet. Obviously no championship ribbon. Very disappointed. You know, I was actually playing when championship ribbon came out, and I hate myself for not buying it. I should have just sold my account when I could for like the $800 just for having championship ribbon. You should have. You could have bought literally every other skin with a new account. I'm sure I like still technically could because I have all the championship skins. Well, they said they are eventually going to re-release it, so you better do it now. They said possibly. They did not 100% okay, confirm. You know, you know they're going to. I don't know. I'd like to give props to Arctech for using regular Zyra. Rip. It's like the best skin, even though the other ones are pretty good. I use SKT, but I also don't play Zyra because I'm bad. I use Hunted, because it's recall animation. Do I, oh, I do have Haunted. Rip, I forgot about that. See, that's when you know you have an addicted problem, is when you have so many skins, you actually forget which skins you have. Hold oh, on, bear back. Here. Full Metal Pantheon. That's probably... That's actually a good one. However, Dragon Slayer is definitely better. That one's always fun to use. No Brahm skin, very disappointed. Ghost Bride Morgana, very good skin. Uh, Heartseeker Vein, called it. And then Vizier Malzahar, that one's a bit odd. Um, it's kind of just like Deadly Cannon, Swamp Cannon. It's just a recolor. That being said, on to the rift. Things will happen eventually. In the meantime, I'm going to grab a drink real quick. game sounds. Maybe that'll be too loud, but we'll find out Welcome in a minute. To Summoner's Rift. I typically play like without game sounds. They're very distracting.
is the Morgana mid, is the Pantheon top lane. Now is a hard jungle, the troll, who is also AFK, so all good. Okay, Mech. Yeah, we do see the troll Malzahar. See, I knew it. Arctech getting money in the bank with the auto tag. You know what I realized the other day? That that lead skin has a different dance. It does? Yeah. The crow, if you're hearing me dance. I think he is. Then that's up. No, that's just the idle animation. Minions has spawned. But it has like no, a different little, dance like... from like some movie. No, that's just his idle animation. I don't believe But he has that skin has a different dance. Someone who's watching the stream, tell the crow to dance so we can watch it. I was gonna say Crow. I don't think Crow can watch the stream. I'm pretty sure his computer would catch fire. Who would be watching? Kotazu, tell him to dance. <laughs> Kotazu doesn't give a shit. <laughs> He's busy in base. I don't think I've ever seen Kill Shift go mid before. This mid Morgana. Right. Shy Slushy's not going hard enough. No, but say he should have tumbled right into that shit. I, don't know, I think Davy's gonna kill kill shift. Right, that top lane does not seem to be going Riven's way whatsoever. Well, oh, pixel flash. flash. That was a bit odd. He ignited too. It's I find it weird he went um, blade. A lot of pantheons go flash. Why is that? Because using Q. Just to sustain. Yeah, Q takes up a lot of mana. The charm just hits the minion. Yeah, see, Pixel's out of mana now. Oops. Rufus missed the cannon minion. Arctic's doing a really good job of using a range support to his advantage right now. I'm kind of disappointed he doesn't have pickpocket though. I feel like he could have a lot more gold. Crow's in the top lane. That was a nice flash by Jekyll to get that stun down. Back to your previous thing, the reason why the Zyra probably didn't take it is because Zyra, for the most part, isn't an auto attack reliant support. It's all in like the Q and putting out as much damage as you can through spells. She's just getting a lot of free autos just because it's a Braum. Yeah, I think uh, I think I would have taken pickpocket once I saw it was brown for the simple reason I can auto attack. Davy keeps stepping on the pool. Uh, the counter jungling coming out of Kotatsu. Still white can. See, that's the the Zyra poke. Yeah, I've played against it. I know it hurts. It's pretty brutal after she buys a hunting guys. Not sure why Pixel picked up boots. Um, I feel like picking up. A flask for the same amount of gold in this situation probably would have been better. I mean, he knew he probably ran out because of a lot of people think flask is either bad or completely forget it exists. So I mean, look, he's out of mana and health again. Like this ribbon's just going to town on him. The boots aren't really helping him. Flintlock jumping in wants to do something. Oh, that was a nice condemn. Flash. Flash. Yeah. 
didn't need to flash there. You should have known he was dead. Mm -hmm. That's like a really big thing to like learn is when you know you're dead to just save your flash. They're all summoner spells even. Like heal. Heals. Like it's on a relatively short cooldown but it's still like enough. Pickles, Pixel's not gonna have a good time with it. <laughs> Tommy Pickles. A pickle flew around the room. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice roots on the uh, slushy. Rufus could have probably followed up on that. Actually, they probably could have got a kill there if the Zyra like went him. So apparently, Kotatsu stole red buff. I missed that one. Stole purple besides red. That's what he said. Yeah. I didn't see it either. I don't. I can't believe that. I don't think Crow's that bad at jungle that he would give up a buff to jungle Malzahar. I don't know. Jungle Malzahar clears pretty fast. Uh, Architect should have known that was boarded. You got the heal though. Oh, yeah. That was nice. The baits are real. I guess this is why we see Slushy never really AD carry. Oh, yeah, bro. I don't really know what rent went wrong. Like, that was a really nice engage. But um, then the Lucian damage happened. Well, Lucian also dashed through the Brom shield there, so it didn't yeah, block true. a whole lot. That still should have been a dead Zyra, though. They didn't get the proc off on Zyra, they only got like two ticks of the Brom passive. I wasn't really paying attention either. I didn't notice he like autoed, then tumbled, then autoed. Because that's like an instant three. Wait, no, I'm dumb. That's not what I meant to say. Just the, the auto and then tumble. Oh, this is kind of why I don't play Vayne. Yeah, I'm really good at her. In bots. <laughs> in bots. That's a so lot of damage. Immediately. That's a lot of damage from Pixel though. The Bonkai was a bit too early. But it was nice that the the crit passive really came in handy there for Pixel. So that was pretty awesome. The Crow just cancelled out Kotazu's ult. Did he kick him like at the same time? Yeah. I missed it. Oh, he's getting flashes all over the map. I actually want to get that play. Oh, wow. That was really nice, actually. Oh, you rewinded? Yeah, I rewinded a bit. So now that they have level 6 in the bot lane, I expect Braum Vayne to do a lot better than what they're currently doing. They hit 6 after. Van and then. Still the the Brom Vein combo, like with that ult. Yeah, there's a lot that they can do. Be, like all, like they have the Lucian Colleen, but in that matchup, that's not really yeah, too Colleen good because they can just go around it really quickly. And then you have the Zyra ult, which is like the disengage, but Vayne can get around that really easy. Yeah, and Brom should honestly tank most of the the Colleen anyway. Ooh, Davy got binded. Rip. Davy's not in that lane. No, I know. Davy still got binded. Oh, wow. Uh oh. So I wasn't in live, and then I jumped to live, and I missed like a huge fight. No, uh, I missed the gang. So, for some reason, Slushy, uh, Slushy tried to flash into Rufus so he can get the condemn. So Rufus could have killed, um,. Kotazu there, if after he used his calling before he, like right after he cancelled it, he used his E 
to get in range for the double shot, but he wasted a round of his double shot. So he should have used his auto after the ult. That, well, he like, ulted and then dashed at like the same, like as soon as they both ended. Mm -hmm. He wasted passive. So, Jekyll's going in and Pixel's actually not doing bad. Yeah, but, pur but purple minions OP. Purple caster minions. I think our tech's a little salty about not killing Potazi there. I would agree. Oh no, Pixel! Yeah, you're ahead of me for a couple seconds because I'm not at live. Oh. Oh, I know what you're talking about. The Q just missing. Yep. Oh, the binding missed. Hit the life button. No, I just, I just did. Yeah. Oh, Crow's getting caught. That's a nice shield. Ooh, but Pantheon. Ooh, that minion saved Davy's life. Davy, you, if you're listening, you write a thank you note to that minion for saving. <laughs> thank you, purple caster minion. Um, Pixel probably could have ulted a little bit closer to Red Tower there, and they might yeah, have been able to get the kill. I have a good friend of mine that plays Pantheon all the time, and it's like a really common thing to try to ult right on top of something that's happening, it and then by the time you long. land, they're already on the other side of the map. Yeah. So you really need to anticipate where the fight's gonna go when you're playing Pantheon and ulting. I wish they would, uh, like, the one thing I wish they would do to Pantheon is just, like, make the drop faster. Because it went before they changed the way it worked, you used to come down faster, but... I know why they changed it, but it, it was basically a huge nerf. Like, you know, how he could stun before he was, like, visually down. <laughs> you remember when he used to ult across half the map? You mean, like, all the other champions? Rip, Crow. Nobody's paying attention to wards right now. Like, so many people are just getting caught out by wards. Rufles, no. Rufles, rip Rufles. No, he should just kill Flintlock while he's there. Uh, Flintlock didn't need that flash either. Oh, Jekyll eating a binding to the mouth, and then a condemn. So, that little team fight that's happening right now is like the perfect spot for, like, for when, right when they get all in, these the players, basically. Oh, Jekyll, no! And then the binding steal. Um. When Flintlock flashed in and ulted Ruthless, that was like perfect area for a Zyra ult. Because it's such a small confined area. Oh my god. If one thing about our diamond players playing Lee Sin, they can't hit skill shots for the life of them. I think it's a syndrome. No, it's like they have, to, they have to hit it. Yeah, that was like they have to hit the Q to look at the syndrome. Well, no, it's A syndrome. It's not Lee syndrome. It's A syndrome. <laughs> the BM from Crow just stopping the back. Well, he's like, this one's not moving. I can hit it. <laughs> it's probably shopping too. Yeah. When a flintlock flash ulted, I think he could have hit the ult even without the flash, and it still yeah. knocks people up no matter what. So. It, that was pretty unnecessary. I feel like if um, Slushy could freeze the lane here and have Braum roam, there's not much that um, Rufles would be able to do about it. I really hope that Zyra is um, making that Ruby Crystal straight into a hunting guys soon. Um, Vayne's hit like her first power spike between the like, boots and blade. Uh, pixel 
getting the damage done. Crow? Wow, that was a long kick. Holy crap. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to go over the wall. That was kind of crazy. And then. That was so dainty that I guess. Oh, uh, the shield went the wrong way. Oh, that was nice by Crow. Did you see that? The first. Oh, that was less good by Crow. <laughs> He safeguarded a way to break the Morgana tether, then followed up on the Q, and then she got molested. Oh, that sucked for Pixel. He missed yep. his he missed his spear. So in that dragon fight, I generally like to never drop a Zyra ult in such a big area like that. Yeah, because Morgana just straight up walked out of it. Well, champions in general, when you drop a Zyra ult in such a large area, it's like, okay. You always want to try to use that in small areas or in the jungle. Like if she had saved or unless, it, unless you're in like a huge team fight in the middle of Baron, then that's a good spot. But just like in the middle of the river, it's like basically a waste. She could have saved it's so easy it, to get out of. and then when Crow went in on the tri bush there, she probably could have used it there and turned it. Yeah, and if and not even if it was gonna turn it, at least get the other members away from Crow. No, Crow was dead. That, that was a sacrifice he made. Yeah, <laughs> they would have maybe not gotten some assist on that if there was a Zyra ult down. Yeah, and then maybe um, Vayne wouldn't have gone on to Lucian either. Mm -hmm. Teams are starting to find these pink wards now. I think it's good that Red's putting them down, but they're not even really defending them. Also, 17 minutes in, no dragon, and then Protatsu finds Riffles. <laughs> Blue has the bottom side warded so good. On their side, they don't have many deep wards. Well, neither team does. Well, yeah. Well, Crow just oh, eating a stun. Crow gets denied at the... He kicks deck. Flintlock. Oh, but now Slushy's here. That Panthalt's way far behind. Ooh, ooh, that Riven. See, that was a really good Zyrold, because that fight was just, like, condensed in that small area. That Riven turned that whole fight so hard. Hey, Sunny. I don't know, I kind of want to give props to that Zyra there, because she locked up the, the vein with roots, and then that ult just really set up for Are the Riven to take them down. Are you on channel, or a live I'm on my channel. Yeah, that was like that was a really good Zyra ultimate. But did you see how much damage the Bankai did? Yeah. And that was a one, two, and like two ribbon before that fight. I'm just saying it got set up for that ribbon. Oh yeah, like I'm not fight. gonna I'm not gonna say that that fight wasn't really good from the um knockout. Like, they just got wamboed. And I thought it was gonna go horribly for red team. And then Riven was like, lol, I'm just gonna kill everything. <laughs> Davey hasn't died yet. I'm proud. And I'm pretty sure he used his DFG that fight. Nope, he just, he just bought it. <laughs> I was gonna say, he made a huge mistake by using his last charge of his ult to get back in the fight right when Morg ulted, but then he got saved by the Riven. Yeah, because he used his ult to get out, and then he charmed the rooted vein, and then did a double dash in, right? Yeah. Yeah. And lost like 80% of his health to doing so. <laughs> See, I'm like 50-50 on the DFG Ari, like as a first item. Oh no, I always buy that first. It's just so good if you like actually use it. Like the only matchups I would not buy that against are like Zeds and Yasuo's where I'd rather take my Zonias first. Yeah. I guess it's a preference thing. But I also I play her like a lane bully. Oh my god. <laughs> that steal. They didn't even care. Like Wow, that's BM. Well, the crow was like, hey, you want to steal my red earlier? Watch this. 
Oh my god, that was a beautiful condemn. And do a bind. It's Why the fuck does the least thing have Swifties? Because it's Lacrow. But. I, yeah, I can't. CC. I can't answer you. It's Lacrow. It's what he does. Hello, padded trousers. Where the fuck is he supposed to generate tenacity then? What? Like. I don't think he thought it all the way through. <laughs> now at this point you're oh my. buying a zap. I guess Why did he flash? <laughs> so I guarantee you there's no fucking tenacity on that leak and like No, whatsoever. And then so so like this Pantheon. These, these yeah, Pantheon ults are great. I love them. I mean, it's like I said earlier, you really need to anticipate where the fight's going with the Pantheon ult, because then you're just gonna have that happen. Well, he also kind of used it as like a disengage there. Like, my right, team was like, no, we don't want none of this, and backed off. Yeah, I think this is Crow's carry Lee Sin build. Using uh, Pantheon ult for anything but ganking, basically now, is almost impossible with a cast time on it. Because most champions have the base movement speed, even without boots, to walk from the center. Oh, that to the silence end. hurts so bad. Kotatsu's like out of mana though. Oh, that was a nice flash. Wow. That was a nice turnaround. The melee minion uh, betrayed right in there. Dude, Shy Slushy just goes hard as fuck. That's the second time he just straight up flashed at Lucian. Did Davey use his DFG there? Nope. Uh, he didn't really know. need to. I mean, he could have, but. I mean, why are you holding him? Just fucking DFG EQ, belly up, walk away? I think he ulted in front of. Man. or in front of Rufal's. And then charmed. And then didn't ult again after that until he killed him. Yeah, Crow built Tiamat. This is definitely his carry release in build. Unfortunately, he just he's gonna get nuked out every time. I mean, like. Fine build as long as he doesn't get caught with one of the 18 CC is the fucking blue team has. Yo, that's horseshit. That's why this void link should proc fucking. Uh, what's that process? Concussive blows. Is it concussive? No, blows? no, no, please cut. That'd be broken as fuck. That would be amazing. Dude, Malzahar could not? just instant proc it at that point. No, you still need to auto him once. Yeah, that's what or I mean! <laughs> or twice. Alright, if you have two you minions... Want, you one auto... Yeah, but then what? Are you gonna run a fucking Malzahar Braun bot lane? AD Malzahar, yeah! Oh my god. <laughs> AD Malzahar Braun bot lane. Rip. Dude, Flintlock? I don't think he understands he can ult without flashing. Tatsu just got fucked up by that ribbon. So they lost the dragon, but got four kills. I think I need to make a YouTube video on how to flash. Okay, well, th I don't know. That's very subjective. There's so many different ways to flash. Like, are you talking about in a particular fashion of flashing? I'm just talking about basically pulling all the clips of people oh my. retards and flashing when they shouldn't and have better options and decide to flash. Rip Viva. Yep, I don't know what happened. Mine and it's just like, nope. Rip. Dude, these red teams just tanking power all day long for some reason. How's the game looking since I just got here? Not bad. Pixel needs to figure this shit out on Pantheon. I talked to him earlier today. It's like, 
But he knows like what he should be doing, but like he doesn't understand the concept that if you're not fucking face rolling people at 25, 30 minutes, then there's no point in playing Pantheon. So like rushing all the way to a cleaver, and like getting a Bam scepter is like the worst way to go about it. And I like I told him that earlier today when he was playing it that he used to just go and brutalize the last wisp for Tiamat and the fact that you see a cleaver now. Why? Is I honestly Pantheon's like the only bows. Pantheon's like the only champion I would ever build cleaver on, but it'd be like as like a last item once I've had well, brutalizer. See, you get that the problem is like the return on investment from actually finishing the cleaver just isn't fucking worth it. That's so much gold. Like, like, like 26, 30? Basically, yeah. I'm I'm at I'm just watching from the stream. I mean, what did my client up there? Oh, I lied. My client's still open. Dude, your client's always open. Most of the time. You know, uh, Rufus is going Infinity Edge Triforce. But he doesn't have a sheen yet. I don't know, do people- are we like still building Triforce on their sheen? Is that still a thing? I didn't think that was a thing anymore. Like I was 90% sure it was it's like not. Infinity Edge Ghost Blade. Yeah, Infinity Edge Ghost Blade's like the norm right now. It's usually early brutalizer if you can't afford BF. If you can't afford BF, go IE first and then it's Ghost Blade and you see the Oh my god, this Leandre's already on to Zyra. That's gonna be good for them. But yeah, that that's gonna be dangerous. That's how I that's how I love seeing Zyra build in support. Oh my god, the damage is... Yeah, my, my, only, my only complaint... Oh, there's the DFG! There's the DFG! Very minimal fucking damage. Oh. No crow! <laughs> <laughs> fucking the crow. That was so great. Oh, rip Davy. Dude, he hit the fucking... Why did he... What? Oh, this... Oh my Dude. god. This what is so is great. What is going on in this fight? Jesus. Kill doing no. work. Baby, no! See, like, he keeps getting people caught under the tower and then just murking you. So back to more important topics. What are y'all gonna be for Halloween? Nothing. Gatsby. Pretty good. That's pretty cool, actually. My girlfriend and I are doing uh, Gatsby and a Flapper Girl, so... Are you gonna um, carry around an Oscar with you? <laughs> right? Like... <laughs> So so much wow. Um, now I'm just I got the black bow tie, black little pocket square. I got a nice gray verse, white undershirt, and like blackish with uh, gray pinstripe uh, pants. Kotatsu? So. Is this gonna be Rip Kotatsu? Uh, no, nope. I hope not. No. Oh my god, what is? Why the flash? There's no need to flash. No, yeah, this is what I'm talking flash. about. This is what I'm talking about. But his dash is on such a low cooldown. Why? It's so like what? This is this is like a mix of Elo though. This I would say like it's lower ish Elo. I don't even know who's like in this game. It's slow. Like, this game is like good. I've been like a crow. The crow's in there too. Oh, uh, I'm not the names on the side. And I think Isn't everyone Jekyll, else is. Jekyll's alright. Isn't Jekyll like gold? Uh, yeah, it's like 90% gold players. It's Jekyll's all gold, gold and, and it's all gold and under except for the crow, kill shift, and Kotazu. Yeah, there's no. It goes from gold to bronze and under. There's no silvers. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> that free poke without knowing. Oh my, Pixel just keeps getting bushwhacked. This is so unfortunate for him. He also has no fucking form. Uh, he's dead. He should have used stun, like, right away. Like, the instant yeah. Riven even tried to start her combo and he's just stun her in GPFO. Like, the, thing is, the thing is, Pantheon like dominates that matchup really hard. He gave a like he, he just didn't but, I mean, play the lane it's, right. Well, yeah, it's just a front side play full, so I wouldn't expect him to win it. But
Apparently League of Legends just got featured on Scandal. What? I don't know, my girlfriend just texted me in all caps saying League of Legends is on oh. Scandal. What the fuck? Oh my god. That's actually like it's like it's cool. Carrie Washington, Washington playing League or something. I, I <laughs> Literally, my phone says all caps League of Legends. Oh my god, it's on Scandal. What the fuck? Is it like Halloween and she dressed up as Nidalee or something? Like... <laughs> just Google it in like an hour once the show ends. Yeah. I mean, Hello. I'm sure. I'm sure did you guys? I'm looking at Reddit rather than topics right now. So. Did you watch the like um, Kelly and Michael part about where they were talking about League of Legends? They like didn't even realize it was like a computer game and shit. It was fucking right. like it was so bad, but it was just funny as hell. Dude, fucking McCrow just getting deleted. Oh my god. They need. Wow. Oh, Art Tech, I believe! I no longer believe. Oh my god, Jackal. Grave Shell. Oh, Davy! Davy's dead. Davy's so dead. Why did. No, Give him the Penta! Oh my god, Davy's. Oh, uh, no. It was already taken from him anyway. No, he had a Quadra, and then it was just Pixel. If Pixel was closer, we could have got the Penta. Riven will not be redeemed today, folks. So as far as people who wanted a specific lane, Riven's doing good. Davy did good in lane. Well, he didn't die, that I can remember. In lane, no. He also didn't really do so anything So I tell else, my though. girlfriend I want details, and she said, yeah, I just had a minor freak out. <laughs> really? <laughs> Those like, are some sweet details. Oh, I'm scared here with my head. Dude, Jekyll's looking to bushwhack some more people. Kill ship's kind of late on these black shields. So both AD carries need to have a scrying orb right now. So, speaking of AD carries, Rufles built his zeal into a static shiv, kept the phage, and then bought a pickaxe. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. Oh, Arctic's dead. It's fucking AP miles of hearts. Gonna start putting in work unless they start buying Quicksilver sashes. Oh, rip. Now there's no black shield. Ah, oh, the flash. fail flash! Crozonias? Oh, Rufles. Wow, Crow just fucked that all kinds of up. And then gets a kill anyway. Let's be real though, he would have killed. Um, Rufless would have killed Kill Shift if he had a Ghost Blade. And not a Phage. And not, <laughs> not a Phage and Static Shiv. Okay, so, one of the main characters, Hawk, was weird all episode, attached to his computer, and they didn't say why, and then you find out at the end that he's playing with his son on League of Legends, who's, like, taken from him by his birth mother. Oh, okay. At least it's, you know, family bonding. Love how they have to add in that, like, dash of weird drama. Right. Like, it's a video game. Just Look, pop play culture! <laughs> Things in your life. We got it, pop culture, we got it, quick plug. I guarantee you they're like, guys, what's the most popular computer game in the world? Oh, League of Legends? Boom, got it, right there, there you go. Wait, so what's the story again? He is playing League they, they, with his son, was like, who is... That, no, that they, um, like, all episode, he's acting, like, super attached to and, like, secretive about the computer, and, like, none of the people, like, know why. And it's like <laughs> that he's playing League with his son, who was, like, taken away by his, uh... Taking his ex-wife took away right after her. Uh, that's like story. the shittiest fucking story ever. That's so bad. The troll part of me pictures like the sun feeding and then death being like, uh, go back. I don't even want you. <laughs> yeah, this is why your mother Peter took you sons. in the first place. Crow wants these cues to land. Arctic was gonna die.
So what could the teams really be doing right now besides trying to group fight? Hanging potatoes onto fans. I don't... I haven't watched that yet. Fucking Crow is all about this like 007 shit where he just hangs out in the enemy jungle doing like nothing. Blue also needs to step up their ward game. If Red Team doesn't get a QSS soon, they're kind of fucked. Red Team? Re yeah. Red Team needs QSS. Oh my god, that kick was so perfect on the pixel. Davey needs to start using his DFG earlier. Oh, the 2v1 exhaust OP. Oh my god. Davey versus Killshift. Who will die and who will rise? Nobody, because Killshift's a pussy. He's a jilted wife, dude. No, he's a ghost bride. He Let him jilted. Okay, jilted and dead. Oh, the binding of truth! Davey, why? Alright, Killshift could totally be winning this fight right now. I don't know why he's running away. Yeah, he has fucking minions chasing him across the map. <laughs> like, Killshift could have easily won. He still has ultimate, too. Like, if he just, like, straight up gone on that, like, the first binding, he probably would have killed Davey. Blue team has good waves, though. Like, they're gonna hit towers hard. So, blue team has two and a half wards on the map. So if I was Davey, I think I would have bought a Void Staff second. So it would have helped out with um, the things that Morg got, and then the death cap for the third buy would have boosted it more than it did originally. Yes. And I'm not, like, I'm not, like, torn on the static builds, like, um, for an attack speed item, it's probably the better one. But, you still need... Oh my god, fucking the crow. I mean, you have, you kind of, the problem is if one AD has a ship and the other has a PD and the AD with the ship gets off the first auto attack with the ship, he wins the fight. Oh, they got Rufal's heal out just by a binding landing too. I'm, I'm like 20 seconds behind you, yeah, remember I'm going off the screen somewhere. Pixel Y. The crow, maybe, why? <laughs> right? Like, land your hooks, bruh. Maybe you should make that YouTube video on dodging now. Like, for real, though. Or, like, if you're gonna flash, don't flash. If you're trying to flash a skill shot, don't flash in a straight line. Or, you know, if you're on top of the character model of your enemy, don't flash that. But, like, if you're on the opposite side of someone, flashing to the other side of them isn't oh, gonna get you away. So much well, damage. Dodging a skill shot with flash is the same as like strafing a scion ult. You just dodge like perpendicular. Yeah, I mean, it's just like. Unless it's. Um... I've, I've, I've seen so many people just like. Flash. Like they try to flash away from a quartz hook in a straight line. And I just. Yeah, that's there with how my head people mad life all the time. Yeah, mad life. <laughs> I did it today though, I fucking, it was really bad. I eat like all the way back into a blood smoke, like right at back range. As who? Like, like as Caitlyn. Um, I, like, oh. I, saw it, I saw it coming, I saw him going to hook, and I like eat back and away at an angle, and he just threw off like a terrible fucking hook. And it it, it just so happened range. to land. That's and awesome. I, just, I sat there, and then he just typed, and just did all caps, because I, I immediately flashed out of it, and I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Wrecked. Dude, this is gonna be like a 60 minute game at this point. Right, like I was debating whether to like load up the key rank and just like wait to try and play on the second one I use, but. If you if you'd done it like 10 minutes ago, you probably could have. Well, yeah, I know, but not anymore. I might just wait. I don't even know like if I wanna play tonight. I'm tired, dude. I gotta fucking abuse to practice. My whole right, dude, my whole like right ankle is just like bloody and swollen. Nice. Shit hurts so bad. You should like bandage that or something. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, Flintlock got the 30 gold off the pink wood. Pixel auto attack too soon. Yeah, I think you should get a share for each one of the autos you put on that. So they should make a pink word with, uh, worth like 50. 25 gold. No, just like 25 gold instead yeah. and give you fucking 5 gold per auto and make a site stone like 50. Well, sites don't even be the same. Just make it 10 gold per auto and how you switch it. Like. I, that would make more sense to me. I don't, I don't like the whole last hit mechanic on words because like... That was a... It was an okay flash by Slushy. You shouldn't have got hit by the charm in the first place. <clears throat> Arctic needs. Arctic should have gone Landry, so have rooms on him. He has Landry already. You got it first. Yeah, the Andrew is first. Rylos, Rylos, Rylos is on his own. Oh, yeah, like Rylos. So much. Because the, the Rylos slow will. Yeah, I know. It goes, to, it goes to the plants and when, well in its stacks, so it's like it's fucking retarded if you get somebody with a weed plant. It's like basically having them rooted. I don't know if he was like following a guide or something, but Zonia's is like the Zara item. Is just at, like when you're playing mid, it's like yeah. super essential as a support. You don't really have to worry about it as much because you can just like throw down your combo, drop your ult, and then Zonia's, and then the enemy sitting there with a thumb up their ass, like, well, now what? Yeah, but as support, there's like way other juicier targets than you, so you don't have to worry about being popped right at the beginning. Which is why, like, if you need the tanky, I would so just toss the Rylos. Okay, Rylos in there. Yeah. I mean, I like I think Rylos, Rylos on there. supports is so much fun. I don't really, like, the problem is Karma is the only real, like, AP support I play anymore, and she doesn't need Rylos. So. Rufus has been sitting on this page forever now. Jekyll saw that ward go down and still ate a binding. Oh, rip. Pause. <clears throat> uh, FTP. A potato flew around the room and then the game paused. Thank you for your, for your words of wisdom. Rip erroneous. What is happening? I don't know. So, I played ranked yesterday, lost like four to five games in a row, right? Got dropped down back to gold three. Today I hop on and play league, and I just straight up win four games right in a row. Get in series and win my first game of the series. Like how can, how do my days just go back and forth so hard? I don't get it. So what you're saying is, if you stopped and didn't get back into gold, you're now gonna lose the series and drop to gold four. No, it's fine. I got re promoted and immediately back down to demoted. But the best part is, I got told in my 9-2-14 Caitlyn game that I was the problem on my team. Yeah, what, like, that happened that to me. Is, I went, I went 9-2-14, and I got all game bitched out by a 12-11-12 pass. Oh, that, that sucks so game. hard for Dave. Oh, oh my god. Here, and it's like... Davey, finish that. Davey, finish it. That was unfortunate, to say the least. If it makes you feel better than down, you'll never be as bad as that Corky. Dude, Crow's not gonna get this kill because he queued the stupid minion. Oh, Flintlock, why? Oh my god. And now Crow's dead. Crow should have just E'd when he got next to the bush. Uh, I, what the fuck is happening? Dude, Crow wants it. Crow wants it so hard. No, I was playing Tristana, and I got, um, like, I got ulted by a 7, uh, 7 one, eight Warwick, and my team was like, what the fuck's wrong with you? I was like, well, you know, you guys don't Well, they, they just, like, they complained about me getting caught out, and he just kept riff-locking into their team, and he didn't have his on you, so we would riff-lock in and get blown up, and then you just, like, really? And I'm like, you're rift walking into their entire team. What do you expect? He's like, oh, position better. You need to be doing more damage. I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't know. Like, 
Cassidy's sort that of game, free though. That game put me like so on tilt though, just because like every like I was oh streaming the God. game and just like everyone was watching, like why is this Cassidy typing so much? Why is this Cassidy typing so much? And then at the end of the game, he's like, "GG report Kate." Like couldn't carry her. See, just being dead, dead serious. I got like, like reported by three of my people. I'm just sitting there like, am I like, am I on crack? You need like, to play cast like an assassin still. I don't get like why people stop like realizing that. Yeah, he was just trying to put down like a shit ton of damage, but he was ref logging the four people. I'm like, dude, he drunk? <laughs> Well, it's like, I don't know, the, like a lot of people's cast build these days are like tier catalyst, so it's like your damage is so delayed, like to be that like first assassin. And then like even if you go full AP with a Lich Bane, it's still like you're not really doing much until like 25-30 minutes. Dude, Kotatsu wants to move out this ribbon. Dude, Riven sold her Mercurial Scimitar, actually. That was a nice Zyra ultimate, but Jekyll got caught by the uh, Mal's ultimate. That was like a 4v4 or something silly. It's a phenomenal Zyra ult. Yeah, I gotta give him props. He's playing real. Besides that, that one Zyra ult in the river, the rest of his Zyra ult has been on point. I don't know, I just, I just flipped back and pulled up the stream and I just saw him hitting like a four man arrow where like half of the screen was taken up by a wall, which was like, wow. It's like That's the perfect been, like, situation. All like after I called him out, I don't know if he's even watching, but after I called him out on that river one, all of his have been like really good. I doubt it, his computer some shit. He might be watching, but I, I thought, I just thought that one was really pretty cool. But that's the power of Zyra though, like, even though she's not really meta right now, she's so good in the support role just because of that ult. Yeah, I mean, like, one spell can really make a champion. Like, red team, like, could be winning these fights, but it's like, both teams are super duper fed. I just, yeah, I think it's... Really comes down to the fact that no team really has a defined tank. I mean, Brahms. Oh my god, that's so unfortunate for red team. But I mean, still the fucking support doing all the tanking, right? I mean, Brahms tank. Brahms a tanky motherfucker. Like once he gets another item or two, he'll be all set. But like, yeah, but I mean, we're talking forty-seven minutes of the game, and he yeah. has like two and a half items. I mean. The fact that his shield dropped when it did that fight was super unfortunate because it was like right as Davy was walking in to kill him. Well, I mean, in general, like, you can't really expect Brom to be tank. Like, yeah, he's literally like the tank guy, oh but he's God, still so... support. I mean, and it, it doesn't help that Pantheon's playing on 100 CS at. And they've lost every dragon. Minutes, yeah. <laughs> but no, they got like, one dragon because they stole it away from Crow. Like, they're giving, they're giving up, like, 17 tables at this point, like there's no reason the red team shouldn't just be raw or stomping these fights. No top turret went down to minions. I like how Davey told me he was gonna play like shit today. This is probably the best he's played <laughs> I mean, he, in I, Adopt a Noob. He hasn't really been using his actives, which is something he wanted to work on. I mean, like, and when he does use them, that I've noticed, he does it, like, after his combo. Like, he'll, like, land Charm, W, Q, and the first thing of ult, and then he'll DFG. Yeah, like, he, he, he needs to, like... Charm, then DFG, the real, and then go. No, the, the, real, the real swag play, if you can fucking pull it off, is ult, DFG, Charm, W, or Q, W. Yeah, I was about to say that. Ult I've been watching a lot grass. of, like, Ari like high level RE play and stuff and they go in with the, the old first and before the old hits the, the DFG goes off. Yeah. And Is that the max like, damage? Because I remember there were people yeah, talking it, about it, it. It's the max damage because if you um, you have to DFG in time to still uh, get the charge the first from your ult, ult, yeah. the E and then both half of the Qs. So it's literally like you're but your dash can't be a forward dash either, because then the damage like won't come off. It's like you have to do a diagonal dash to the side, 
like while your dash is going off, you DFG -E -E EQ W R E. Yeah, EQ. Because yeah, you're EQ supposed to w before you yeah. even go in. W Predators prioritizes champs now, right? They changed it. Correct. It, it, it's yeah. always, no, it's always priority. Yeah, it's always no, always no I know for a fact it hasn't it. always. No, it has they've changed always, it. but they made it, they made it more reliable. Yeah. Uh, they, they gave it quality of life like fucking 10 times ago. I mean, it isn't. But, um, like, the mechanics spell in it of itself is a bit, like, unique. Like, I'm trying to think of... Like, other than double shot, Sona, what else has Sona. it? Sona. Sona. Oh yeah, they, well they changed yeah. Sona a lot too. No, it's Sona's. Yeah, it's, Sona's it's, Q it's the exact always same thing as yeah, it's the exact they, same no, thing. No, I'm saying they've given it like the same like update that they gave the W. They, I mean, like I guess I feel I, I actually I feel like Sona's more responsive now. They they gave her like another they gave her like another 25 range on it. So yeah, and then the double shot passive. Oh no, kick this time, Crow. I guess we know who the better diamond jungler is. Uh, I'm still seeing zero, like nothing to remove suppression on red team. Like if Kurtatsu can find anybody of importance and just nuke him out, that's gonna be the trouble. Yeah. They're just I walking would be able on to... wars though. Like they haven't swept any of this until now. I would definitely get rid of like I'd wanna say like the Triforce and get it. Yeah, well that was a wicked late Triforce too. Like that was so late. Uh Jekyll missed his uh wall jump. I think the biggest issue probably comes down to the fact that Pantheon's just at this point a scum bot. I mean, they just gave away a the free Pantheon bear. Pantheon got fair though. So there's that with the fucking crit. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Red Team gave it away for free. Like, they didn't even bother to try. Yeah, but, but how did Pantheon get the Baron? Kotatsu's smite was down. The fucking crit. Yeah, the smite was down. Zara no, tried. Actually, smite wasn't really down. I'm just fucking with you. He had smite available. Like, I just watched it on the replay. He didn't even bother using it. Or he couldn't because, like, the Zyra burst went down, and then on top of that, the Panth crit happened. Dude, I would have been so pumped if Zyra had stolen that. Roofless is fucked. And that's why you need the QSS. Uh, even with the QSS, he was dead. Like, he would have. Pantheon he could have killed Kotazu. Yeah. Before he died. I'm saying he still would have died. Then. Yeah, but I'd rather die and kill someone than just die. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely needs to get rid of the Triforce. Like a material right now would be so much better. He also needs to get rid of his ward and get a Scrying Orb. You bought a, coming, yeah. coming back right then and just seeing him get ulted by Maus and having fucking nothing to do. Dude, I think Blue Team's gonna come back and win this. Like, Jekyll had Mercurial and sold it. Like, I can understand you use the cooldown and then get rid of it, but you need to pick that back up. You can't 1v1 one one Kotazu without it. Nope. Well, I mean, Kotazu doesn't have ult right now, so he probably could. But he's just needing too much space aid. 20 seconds, and it doesn't matter. Oh my god, Dave. I'm really upset. Why didn't they just go in on that? What the fuck? You can. I don't know why David didn't zone Yeah, one, he should have zoned it. Smudge could have zoned it and scared our stuff. But why didn't Braum follow up on that with everything he had? Oh, Crow's dead. Fucking Crow's dead. Like... Oh man. Ruthless is going oh. He's losing tower this whole time. Did oh, fucking... why did he dash? He, like, his first, like, thing to do after, like, she responds is I... dash. I would have dashed what you. Is... I would have just queued, cause. I. Why would you queue a vein if you know she's immediately gonna try to tumble? 
Yeah. Why would you dash if you know she's going to immediately try and get it? And it's a guaranteed second auto. Yeah, it's a guaranteed double it's like, auto. It's like, it's like, it's like Ezreal fucking arcane shit thing, right, when he spawns. Yeah, but what if she condemned you away and then tumbled away? They need another dash to get back. I mean, but it basically comes down to the fact when she comes out, what direction is she tumbling in, which direction are you? If she, if he dashed up towards his tower, then she doesn't have a choice. He dashed in the wrong direction, I agree with you there, but like... But the dash was definitely the best move. Yeah. He should have dashed like up and towards to force Vayne to have to like tumble up and away, but... Are you still like... But uh, you don't have any other choice. I mean, guess you could toss down the Arden Blades if you want, but like... Timing that, good luck. What's GA's respawn time? It's like four Long. seconds, right? Oh, the respawn time? Four seconds, yeah. I think that's four. Zonia's is two and a half. Yeah, I'm really good. I have no problem timing Zonia's. I always, I'm always like a half second early with GA's. Yeah, like everybody is. Like you can, like I've seen it so many times this game alone. But I, I'm like, I always, like I'm always conscious in my head, like okay, hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it now. And then five seconds, or like a half second, still early. Yeah. Well, I've gotten a lot of better. I've, I've gotten a lot better with it with Karma, especially if you're sitting there with just like a power two on it. But uh, they're joining our channel, so I guess that means. Of course, uh, yeah. Um, Rufal, just move up to adopt me. We're gonna move up after. Oh my God, Davy. Zonia's. Oh my God. No, rip, Davy. He needs to put his actives, like, somewhere where he fucking uses them. Well, he has it on his, what, 2 and 3 right now? Yeah. Uh, it doesn't show on Spectate. Spectate shows it he in most like... expensive to least expensive. No. Yeah. It, well, and he also he needs to, like, he just needs to put it somewhere, like, on his mouse or on his keyboard where it's, like, early accessible. Because, like, you can tell he's, like, telling himself to use it where it just, like, he doesn't have, like, a key he's just jamming. Like, for me, I always leave, like, I know my targetable active is going to be on one, my smartcast active is going to be on two, like... See, the only issue, like, the only active item I have an issue with is Bork, because it, like, doesn't go off. That's, you no. can't have, you can't have Bork on smartcast. Yeah, it's bugged. well, yeah, because it's bugged, but... I don't know, the only time I have an issue is if I have four actives. Like if I have three, if you're playing support, I know they, yeah. If dude, I have three, kill shift. I know them dude, kill shift's like solo this game, pretty much. I have. I have oh my god! Time. Did Rengar you just see that? The perfect time GA. Oh my god! Yeah, kill shift solo carry this game. Like holy shit! I mean, go fucking master. Like he picked up the three like game winning kills. Just binds forever. Uh, yeah. Okay. No, Davey, why? <laughs> Alright, yeah, that's good. They get so stacked sometimes. Whoa, when we were fighting? Yeah. I think I silenced you like mid cast. It was I really weird. Horse shit. Like, Whatever. It Crow doesn't go got through dumpstered. my ult, but oh my god, doesn't touch silence. Yeah, Crow got dumpstered. G, fucking G. They don't fucking jungle. I know, that's why I was so surprised. Like, Crow doesn't even play Lee Sin, Crow, let alone jungle. Crow, what, what was your. Um... Maybe you should pick up Malzahar, dude. <laughs> what was your. What was my what? Thought process buying Swifties against that team comp? Um, I just wanted to move fast. Mobies, man. <laughs> no, I had <laughs> Mobies the, the entire game. Buy, then buy Mobies. I had Mobies all game, dude. You had, you had Swifties, like, either fucking get Mobies or go Merc Trads, like... Like, we only had Braum slow. I and wanted to get a like, You were either, like, you had zero tenacity only, right? Noob. Yeah, he, he didn't build any tenacity. Like, oh. I like, those more, like... I like the way they look. <laughs> 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 Alright. Does anybody want specific feedback on their play? Yeah, I'd give, like to see what feedback. you could uh, say about my play. All right, I'll go Kotatsu and then Crow. Um, Kotatsu, you had a free game because nobody built any type of like suppression removal whatsoever. So we had a QSS. 
You didn't, though. At one point. Did, yeah. Mikhail's works there, there was, suppression, right? No. Mikhail's no, does not. Right. QSS yeah, is the gotcha. only thing that does it. Cleanse doesn't touch it, only QSS. Yeah, QSS, well, QSS, QSS and, and Gangplank. And Mercurial. Yeah. Um, and Banshee. So apparently, Who you stole Red Buff. Gangplank. You said you stole Red Buff. I didn't see you steal Red I Buff. Did. Crow, did yeah, I did. Crow, did I steal your... stole it. <laughs> All right, well, that's... that's <laughs> Bad on Crow. I don't know how you get killed. Yeah, I just took blue. I didn't smite, and then I walked over to his red and just took it. Yeah, he got a super <laughs> leash or some shit. Yeah. I was um, like, wow, this isn't going to work. This isn't going to work. And then you just kind of come at the last second. I'm like, okay. I mean, yeah, that's so you did fine. I didn't really notice any, like, terrible shit you did, even though you picked the troll champ. Um, nice. I think my favorite one was when Crow kicked you as soon as you tried to ult. That was, oh, that was stupid. Fucking that was just straight luck. Yeah, that was. Get fucked. That shit was good. Straight luck. Uh, and then Crow. Right, the second did, time I got rocked. Crow didn't manage to do that again for the rest of the game. Alright, so let's not nope. focus on the diamond mm -hmm. players then. Alright, so I'm gonna skip Crow. <laughs> I'm gonna oh, skip Crow because so... he knows what he did wrong. Um, Rufles. Rufles, your build. Yeah, we're gonna have to talk about your build, buddy. Your actual play itself, I think, was good. But the build is something we were talking about like the entire game. Um, like you went static shiv phage instead of just going for the um, ghost blade. And then you never once picked up a QSS in the game. And at one point you actually finished the Triforce at like 30, 40, I think it was actually 45 minutes in the game. And then you ended up selling it for a GA. But you still got like locked down by the Malzahar ultimate. And then once your yeah. GA spawned, you just got binded right in the face. Um, a QSS against their team would have been spectacular, just because there's so much that shit you, that you could have been able to also, cleanse. Also, Yumu's, like, the traditional illusion build at this point is either, like, first buy BF or Brutalizer if you don't have a gold for BF. Like, if you're stuck in that awkward, like, 1350, 1400 mark. You can pick up that early brutalizer because the CDR is so good on him, and that plus the lucid boost plus having the five percent mastery is basically puts your E on permacore then. Um, plus the active with your calling on, you get a couple extra bullets, which is phenomenal. Um, just on top of that, it's a really strong item. So that with IE, you don't need to necessarily get any additional attack speed in there until later on. Um, with those three items, you hit like a much more efficient power spike than going. I fade or I shiv like I, you're, I don't know whatever the hell you ended up doing. Just like try and always be more efficient with the amount of gold you have and the amount of gold you're gonna spend on your champion, and realize what you can do. But just like those first two items, uh, I E and you moves need to be your first two damage items almost exclusively on Lucian. Otherwise, you're just wasting gold. Yeah, but um, your actual play style, I think you did fine in the game. You just you didn't have a way to fight back because of itemization. Alright, yeah, yeah the item build was just something that I pulled off of solo mid, so... And yeah. then, um, that transition's good into Jekyll too. You actually tr went into the Mercurials, but then you sold it, and then you weren't able to fight back either, at the end. And just one thing about what you just said too, um, when you're building something in terms of a game, like, take the extra kind of like 5 to 10 seconds in base to think about what you're building and why you're building it. It's definitely like completely worth it because like you recognize yourself. Maybe you're just like following guide, and maybe you're following what like your routine build path is. But if you take like five or ten seconds, just like in the shots, look at like, well, I had this amount of gold. Like, what else cost about this much that I could be buying for my champion that might be as good? So maybe you decide like rather than picking up that phage and you decide to pick up a brutalizer instead. Like you would have snowballed your lane just like so much harder. Like being um. able. To Go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say like in if you like looking at build pages in general, most of them have parts where it's like um, optional items or like different items you can buy that are off of the main build, and those are something you can maybe like add onto like an item page, and say okay, well they all these players recommend that you should get like the QSS for example as one of the optional items. In this particular matchup, there's a Malzahar jungler, so maybe I should instead of picking up the phage, I should build the Negatron cloak so I can get that sooner, that way I can get that off of me when he puts it on. Like, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, kill shift on the Leandries thing. Um, 
it's not like it does work on uh, Morgana, uh, especially if you get like a Rylize too. But it's not worth. Yeah, it's a lot of gold spent when you can spend it on straight AP damage. And if you noticed, your bindings were half healthing Davy and um, mm. Rufus. Like you would land one Q and they'd be half health, and then once you put your W on, you would basically kill them at that point. So if you yeah. had build like another straight AP damage item, then you you would basically one shot that entire team. What would basically. have I got when, besides that? Like a Morellos or like a book? Early early Morello would be nice, and Athens is nice for the mana sustain. Well, he's um, saying as a last item, like he had well, Zonia's. We're talking about kill shift, like the spell vamp book. The Morgana. Is the... Yeah, Woda's Wo I mean, Wo not a bad choice because Wo the shittiest CDI. item ever. Do not. Yeah, I would honestly, I'd pick Rylai's or, or Leandri's over over Woda. But, but the thing is, like, you don't. Morgana has such good ratios that building pen on her just isn't like it's just almost not as necessary. Like having dual pen items like Leandri's Void Staff is just like pointless. Gotcha. You could have also DFG. Just, yeah, it's like, like super cool. If you get a DFG, it's a DFG, like hit somebody with a bind from downtown, you can toss a DFG on them and you have W and just fucking murder them. Plus, DFG is like a, a large DFG, yeah, damage DFG's item. Range is, and its range is really large as well. So, getting that down on top of them will hurt. Um, I mean, I'll, I like wanted. I said, in a last second panic, uh, Leandri's, it did the job, obviously. Davy said him. Davy, Davy, Davy. Okay, Davy, ready? Your Ari combo. This is what I want you to practice. There's two combos in the way to order, like get out the most efficient damage. The first one is you R and then you E. Assuming you have your W on, as Viva pointed out earlier when we were commentating. So your W can be on at any point in this because it prioritizes champions. But you R, E, and then you DFG kill. And then you can use your other R stack to put on damage and then you can get out. And then if you want to get really, really, really tricky, you can R, like, slightly at an angle towards them and DFG at the same time. And your DFG will actually travel faster than the Spirit Rush charges. And what then happens is the DFG goes off for that. And then assuming you have your W on, you throw out your Charm in your Q, because so those are then both amplified by the DFG. And then you can get off, like, one more Spirit Rush cooldown sometimes. Most of the time you can't, and that's the maximum combo. What you were doing a lot of the time was Spirit Rush in, Charm, W, DFG, Q. It was like very, like, trying kind of get everything going together because the whole point of Ari is you're in, you drop everything, you're out. Okay. And then... The only um, other thing really is you solid. never used your Zonias. Yeah, I was just oh, going to say what you yeah, said. That. I was going to use my Zonias in the Dragon Pit, but I was starting to lag, so it never went off. Uh, yeah, that's... There were two happen. spots where I specifically said that, and both of them were when you got binded. And I was like, he knows he can, like, Zonias through that, right? <laughs> but, and, like, um... you can always, like, dash Zonias, dash, or, like, Zonias, and then dash straight out of it. Like, you're not a champion who's just going to be boned if you have to blow his Zonias to dodge a skill shot. Especially if it was one of those fucking nuclear tip Morgana bindings. <laughs> yeah, those things were godlike. Like, oh my god. Um... All right. Anybody else want specific feedback? Uh, yes, but I would like to say that uh, my Brahms sucked. I mean, you were the tankiest. I, I thought that was all right. I felt yeah. that was like you, you were, you just your job is to sit there and soak damage. Just one thing. Um, you like, flashed every time you ulted, and half the time it wasn't really necessary. Because um, yeah. if you hit a champion at any point in the spell, it's a knockup. It doesn't have to be like the same. Um, the same character model. Like, it's. You can. Any point, it'll knock them up. So, like, as long as you're better off most of the time, um, if you can, just walking up, like, jumping to the champion to knock up whoever is, like, right in front of them. And then, if you need to, like, soak up the shield, you can, and then flash away to disengage at the end. If you flash in and use your knock up, you're defeating your purpose. Because your purpose as Braum is to appeal for your team, right? If you flash into a fight, You've already wasted one five-minute spell, allowing you to help peel and get out of a sticky situation to go in to peel. It's just kind of counterintuitive, right? Fair enough. Yeah, I gotta get out of that habit. I do it in ARAM and it's carried over. Understandable. 
Oh, why the fuck do you give me invite powers? Am I in charge of this now? You have everybody invite powers. Uh, my, uh, yeah. my friends list is all fucked up, so I can't invite anyone. Um, just give somebody from the last game, Bingo, that recently played. Oh, you can't invite from recently played anymore, can you? That's beat. Nope. Um, who wants an invite? I was just gonna uh, see it off the, off the game, so... Um, so I'm gonna head out for the night. I'll see Bye. you guys Saturday. Please. Uh, I want feedback for the last game. Oh, okay, right, gotcha. Time. You were... Oh. Okay, right. so... I... Wait. Go ahead. Go please, ahead, yeah. please. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, Go ahead. so... <laughs> you probably weren't watching the stream, but there was this one... This is giving you props, by the way. But there was this one fight in the river, and you dropped your Zyra ult, and I was talking about how like I hated it, because dropping a Zyra ult in a just a really wide area is so easy to get out of. But literally, like, every fight after that, up until you guys lost, you had like a perfect Zyra ult, which was like, in a very confined area, there's a wall, there's brush, there's walls everywhere, and they can't get out of it. Like, you had really, really good Zyra ults, and I think your itemization was really good going for that um, really early Leandris. Um, the one thing we did talk about your build is instead of picking up the early Zonias, you could have picked up a um, Rylai's to just like totally compound onto the Leandrius because as a support you're not the first target so you don't really need that emergency button as quickly as you would in the mid lane. Okay, yeah, since uh, a viewer more as a mid laner that goes bot then that we your support to us building are more like a mid laner. Yeah, that's what you're saying too. When you're in mid lane as Ira, you definitely like first item by like that Zonius because you're gonna get blown up right after your combo and you need it to survive. But um there's so many more juicier targets when you're the support so you can just build more tanky and get the slow onto your plants.